wildfires affect your health? Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician, senior public health contributor for Forbes and med patient aid columnist. I want to answer that question. If you've been listening to the news, the wildfires in California are absolutely devastating. We're talking about a handful of people that have already died. Thousands of buildings have been affected and thousands of acres have already been affected. And it's the most deadliest and most devastating wildfire in the history of California. So how can that affect your health? Well, if you're close to the wildfires, what happens is that the burning can emit an odorless and colorless gas called carbon monoxide. And when you inhale carbon monoxide, that can reduce the amount of oxygen that's in your blood that goes to vital organs, things like your kidney, your heart, your brain. And that can lead to kidney injury, heart injury, heart failure, even increase your risk of heart attack and stroke. But even if you're not around the fires, remember back in Canada last year, those fires spread all the way to New York and even parts of the Northeast. So you had poor air quality throughout much of the Northeast in America, and that can affect your health as well. So what happens is, is that there's something called particle pollution and small particles get emitted into the atmosphere. We're talking about particles that are less than the size of a follicle of your hair. And what happens is that when you inhale those particles, that can act as an irritant. So even if you those particles go into your eyes that can irritate your eyes, result in uh, red eyes or watery eyes. It can affect your lungs. Those particles can get breathed and deposit deep into your lungs and that can acutely cause in the short term, cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, fatigue, nausea, dizziness. All these things can happen in the short term if you inhale these particles. It can also affect your health in the long term. So because these particles can go into your lungs, it can result in lung injury and it can exacerbate many chronic conditions like asthma, obstructive lung disease like bronchitis, emphysema. All these things are affected. It can also exacerbate heart failure. And if you have heart disease, because your body can't deal with the inflammation that results from these particles that are destroying not only your lungs, but your blood vessels increasing your blood pressure, and then ultimately increasing your risk for heart attack and even stroke for that matter. Not only is it affecting physical health, we haven't even talked about how it affects your mental health. Imagine all the people that are losing homes, even celebrities like Billy Crystal, Paris Hilton. They may not be able to sleep. They may have anxiety, depression, stress, all this because of wildfires. Now, there are certain groups of people that are more susceptible to wildfires, and those are obviously young individuals like children because they don't have lungs that are fully developed where they can deal with some of these toxins or pollutants that are going into their lungs. They also have smaller airways so that these pollutants or particles get deposited in the airways and they can cause bronchitis and inflammation of those airways. Also, those who are older and have chronic medical conditions like asthma, obstructive lung disease, that inflammation gets deposited in their lungs and their bodies can't deal with it as well because their lungs aren't as healthy. Their heart isn't as healthy. So in those ways, these are the people that are most vulnerable to particle pollution from wildfires. Because remember, when wildfires burn, they burn these particles from trees, from houses, from plastic, and that gets deposited in the atmosphere and that then causes injury into our internal organs. So what can we do? What can we do to protect ourselves if you're in that situation where you have wildfires? Well, first of all, stay indoors. If you can, absolutely stay indoors. Close your windows. Use air purifiers, air humidifiers. And if you do have to go outside, please, please put on protective eyewear. Consider wearing a KN95 mask. Wear gloves. Do everything you can to protect yourselves. Please, please pray for all those who are in California. Send as much help and aid as we possibly can. And please remember, always be kind to yourself and to those around you. Thank you so much for watching this. Hope that was helpful.